Hi, this is Amy, the Drama and Movement Therapist from Noah's Art Children's Hospice. And this is a video for, it can either be for mindfulness, a bit of stress relief, or it can be a way to unwind um, before bedtime or in the evenings. So, for this video, you, wouldn't, you, won't, you don't need anything specifically, but something that you can maybe pull or hold on to. So here I have a sort of squidgy ball thing. Some of you might have something similar. Or even just a bit of fabric. It could even be a top. Something that you can really hold on to. Stretchy could be really good too, because then you can really feel it expand and come back. This exercise is a pull and push base technique. So if, there's, if you want to think about something that's maybe worrying you or making you feel a bit upset or angry, you can think about that while you pull, really, really pull, but you pull, don't pull too hard so it breaks, <laughs> and then you can let go. And if you really want to, you can pull and let go slowly. Maybe make it really, really to maybe give it a good squeeze instead. So really it's about trying to get all of this energy out and then feel a nice and calm to maybe sleep or to maybe carry on our day. But really using our energy and our body Pull. and then maybe push as well. Oh, and then have a little bit of a breather and notice how you feel. Do you f if you feel that's enough, that's great. Maybe it's time to sleep now. Maybe you got that last bit of poof, bit of energy out, or maybe you feel like you need a little more. You might want to move on to something else, or if you've got a stress ball, or any sort of squidgy sensory based things, they're really good. Maybe you want to pull, 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 and then let go. Pull, 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 and let go. Feel free to adapt this in any way that works for you guys. You might just have something sensory and you want to help that person feel it or help that other person hold while you pull it for them and maybe push it into their hands so they can feel the object or fabric a bit more. So it's really getting out of this thinking mind and getting more into the the present, what's in front of us, the feel, feely stuff. And again, to release maybe some energy that's been there, some pent up stress, or maybe just a good way to soothe before going to bed. So we all need rest and sleep. I hope this has been helpful and it'd be really cool to hear about what different things you guys have used in your pull and push technique and if you go to sleep I hope you have a lovely sleep and if not I hope you have a good rest of your day thank you